In this video, we're going to take a look at a new tool within Carveco, which is generating reliefs using AI. So in this video, we're going to be looking at this using Carveco Maker. And if you take a look over on the left hand side here, you can see that there is an option to generate with AI. So if I click on that, it will take me to a new page where it gives me the option to generate with text or generate with image. In this video, we're going to be looking at generating with text. So basically type in some text and then it will turn that text into an image. And then it will turn that text into a relief. Image to relief, upload an image and it will turn that into a 3D relief. At the bottom, there's a section about credits, how many you have. And if you click get more credits, then it will give you a lot more information about that. So for now, what I'm going to do is click generate with text. And this will take you to another new page. And at the top left, it will give you a box where you can type in your text. Now you can either type in your own text or you can click inspire me. And basically what that will do, it will automatically generate some text for you. So you could basically do that, do that. So a high detail carving of a Viking face, maybe not a Viking, maybe, I don't know, a nomad's face. And then click generate image. And when you do click generate image, it will give you four options down below. So it's generated four different options. Now, if you don't like any of those, what you can do is either change the prompt. Maybe I want the full face and then generate again. And you can see that it's given me all of these options. Now there's also below that some other examples and if you click on one of those it will basically copy the prompt and put it in here so maybe this one a cgi model of a friendly jester's face so let's generate that okay i wouldn't say that they're friendly to be honest <laughs> they look a bit scary but you can just click on one of those and it will open it here and give you basically a preview of that. So any of them, you can click on them and it will give you a preview like so. Now let's say this one, this one looks really good. I really, really like that. So let's say that I wanted to generate a relief from this. Now I can see areas that I don't like. There's something going on at the top here on both the corners. Now I can just, edit that out afterwards. So what I'm going to do is click generate relief. And what this will do, it will take me to another new page and it will give me a preview of the relief in the 3D view. Okay, so what it's done, it's opened it up in the 3D view on the right hand side and on the left hand side, there are a few options and we're going to be going through those. So if I rotate this around, just exactly the same as you would in the 3D view in normal Carveco Maker, you can see that it's generated a really, really good relief for me. Now, if I click depth and then move that slider bar, you can see that I get a lot more depth. Now, this is the underlying depth of, of the model. So this isn't the detail, which is below. So if I move that, to be in the center, so there's no detail, you can see that this is just a smooth relief that's lying under here. So I can just move that up or down like so. Now this is basically an artistic section. So you'll notice that there are no mention of sizes anywhere on here. So this is just so you can get the look of this correct so don't worry about sizes for the time being. What you want to do is just make sure that you get the depth and the detail so they sit correctly with each other. So let's say my depth, I want that to be about there. And then the detail, you can add detail like so, or you can take it away. So this becomes a negative going into the relief. So let's 
add the detail. Now, personally, I don't really add too much, maybe about there. You can always smooth this out afterwards within the program. And then what you have is the zero plane. So what the zero plane does, it basically brings up this back edge. Now for this example, it's not really that important because there's a lot going on in there. In a moment, I'm going to try and open another example up where it's got basically a flat background and you'll see this a lot better then. So if I bring that zero plane up, you can see that it slowly gets rid of all of that background. Now let's say that I don't want all of that stuff behind this guy. Let's say I want it to be like that. Now you can see that it's it, it's removed this section here and this section here. Now this is entirely up to you. What you could do is bring that back and then it's not really a problem to trim this off. I'll show you how to do that. So let's say that that's how I want this guy to be. So when you're happy with that, you can either save it to your relief clip art library. So I'll click there and it will take you to a folder called AI generated. So I'm going to call this nomad face, click save. And that's saved in your clip art library forever now. Now it's personally, I would rather do that and then open up a new model within Carve Co Maker because then I can bring that in as a piece of clip art and then I can resize it. So I'll show you that in a moment, but for now, let's open in a new model. Now this is going to let me set up my sizes. So if I go to, let's say inches, and I want this to be nine inches high. Now it automatically constrains the aspect ratio. So it's nine inches in height and also nine inches in width. Now, if I didn't want that, I would have to use the relief clip art library. And that's why I said it was probably be better to use that in all honesty. Set my origin, let's say the center, and let's select OK. And you can see that that's opened up my model. Now, the other way to do this is if I go to File and New Model. Now, let's say that I want this to be, I don't know, let's say a width of 10 inches and a height of 6 inches. And I'll Adjust the resolution, select OK. Okay, so that's my model. So if we go to the Relief Clip Art Library in AI Generated in that folder there, you can see that I've got the Nomad's face. And now I can bring that into Carve Co Maker and I can move that around. Let's say that I wanted him to be positioned maybe over here. Maybe there was two of them and I wanted something else here. So you can quickly build up a piece from this clip art library. So let's close that. And I'm just going to paste that down. Let's say there. Okay, so what I want to do is remove these feathers. That's really easy. What I can do is let's take a view from the top. I'm just going to quickly draw A vector around there. As I said, quickly. <laughs> um, so, right, what I'm going to do is zero that. So, zero inside of the vector. You can see that removes that. And then I can do the same for the other side. So, it's a really quick way of just getting rid of any sections that you don't really want. Let's say like so, and then zero inside that vector. And then I can delete that. Right, so let's say that I went a bit crazy with the detail layer. So what you can do with that is smooth the relief. So I can smooth that down. That's a bit crazy, maybe like so. And then select apply. And you can see that I've got a really, really, really good relief just from a simple text prompt. Right, so let's go back into it. You don't need to close the program or anything. What you can do is go to File and then Generate with AI. 
I'm not going to save my changes for this. And then it takes me back to that original page that I had. So I'm going to generate with text again. And let's do something a bit more random. Let's say, let's say this dog. So I've just clicked on the dog and it's copied the prompt into this area here. So if I click generate again, it will give me the four previews. So you can see that I've got these four dogs. Now, let's say that I don't want it to be a painting. Let's say I'll delete that and let's delete that. So it's a smooth shading of a beagle's face facing forward. Generate again and it will give me four options. Okay, let's say any of these would work really. That one would work quite well. I tend to like the ones with sort of a faded background because you don't get too much of a jump up in height. This one will be great as well. That one will be great. Let's, let's try, I want something that I know that is going to give me sort of a flat background so I can show you the zero plane coming up. So let's save that one. So click generate relief. It will take just a moment to generate this. Okay, so this has opened up that image. You can see that I've got my dog there and it, it looks quite good. It looks pretty decent. If you take a look here though, around the edges, you can see that there are a few artifacts and that's ideal for this zero plane. That's what this is for. So if I just take a little view there, let's zoom in on the dog's face here. So maybe I can add a bit more detail. Like so I can add some more depth if I wanted to or make it shallow. Maybe like that. And then to get rid of this, what I would do is bring up that zero plane. Okay, let me do that again so you can see it. You can also turn on the bitmap here so you can see what it actually looks like. So you can see that that's slowly becoming flat. So if I click to save to the clip art library, and I'll call this Beagle Face, click save, and then I can open this in a new model. Now I would always advise saving it to the clip art library because you never know, you might, may want to use this in the future. So if I click inches and let's say six inches and select okay, you can see that I've got this beagle. So let me smooth this again. Let's say it like so. And then let's take a little view of this. Now maybe if let's say I scale this height, let's say something crazy like that. You can see that it's really sticking up quite high. So what I would tend to do then is go into the fade relief tool. So if you go into the fade relief tool, stick that at the top somewhere there and have that at the bottom. And then you can control this. So if I bring that up, you can sort of control how this goes. So if I want it to be sort of flat here, you can see that I need to fade it by 43%. So I can apply that and cancel. And then you can see that he's got a flat snout. So that's basically how you use the image to relieve tool. In the next video, we're going to take a look at converting images into reliefs using the AI features.